What's up, JT Gunner here, and I am back with more F099. So, there's a new mode that's been added to this game, it's called Classic Mode. And basically, this sort of recreates the original gameplay of F0 on SNES, in that there's no Skyway, there's no spin attacks, and the boost system works more like it did in um, F0 SNES instead of the F0 X style boost that's available in um, other modes in this game. So yeah, this mode actually dropped not too long ago, and like like Team Battle and Grand Prix, you sort of have to wait for it to uh, become available to play. So that's why it's taken me a couple episodes to actually uh, get here, so enough blabbing, we're gonna check this out. Face off against 20 pilot races using rules inspired by the original F-Zero game. Earn one boost per lap you complete. Spin attacks in the Skyway are not available in this mode, so yeah. Just like that. Alright, so we're gonna try this mode. Alright. So we're gonna go with good old Fire Stingray. Fire Stingray's been my good luck charm for these uh, past few races. I I feel like I've done a lot better <laughs> with the Fire Stingray, which the Fire Stingray was my favorite car in the original F Zero. That and the Blue Falcon. But yeah, I do really well with the Blue uh, Fire Stingray. Excuse me. So yeah, I actually won my first F Zero ninety nine race, and thus far my only F Zero ninety nine race with the Fire Stingray. So. Um, yeah, it's just been a, uh, it's sort of been my lucky charm, I can, I consider it, too. Red Canyon 1, everybody loves Red Canyon 1. Alright, let's do this. Anyway, I hope you guys are doing well, I'm doing alright. Oh yeah, and it's not widescreen anymore, it's sort of been a, uh, sort of like 4x3 for some reason, I don't know. I guess they really want to make it like it's, um, like the original game. Okay, so... I was, I was half tempted to try to bump into these guys and spin attack them, but then I realized I can't do that in this mode, so... Hopefully I have a better time with this mode than some of the others. Which, I always have a fun time with uh, this game mode. Maybe not this particular game mode, but the other game modes. Oh shit, I didn't, I didn't realize how bad I'm doing. Holy shit, I'm literally 19th out of 20th. Okay, so... Oh shit, I'm gonna be ranked out. Oh, fuck me. Okay. Okay, let's see. Cause I, I don't wanna just... You know... Oh boy! Okay. That was scary. Okay. I'm above 18th, 18th place, excuse me. It looks like we have the uh, standard uh, orange bumpers, too. Um, from the original, the original game. So, oh boy. Make it above 16th now? Okay. Oh boy, I don't know if I can. I think they're very far ahead. Yeah, I'm probably gonna get you limbed after this, huh? Nope, nope, I have made it by hair, cool. All right, sweet, nice. Final lap, I have to make it about 14th. Okay, don't boost here. Bad idea, don't do it. Okay, they're already boosting, that's fine. And I boost! Ooh. Somebody already won, but uh, I'm gonna at least try to can, at least gonna try to place above 14th, 14th place, baby! I did it. Cool. All right, that's that's neat. 14th place. Guess I could have done uh, could have done worse, eh? All right, not bad, not bad. Cool. All right, I beat three rivals too, so that's not bad. All right, let's see. Can I do another one? Sure can. I don't know how many how many more of these I'm gonna do in this video. It's an interesting game mode. Ooh, finish top 25 in any race 20 times. Ooh, I gotta do color scheme. Let me uh let me go to my workshop. Because I've been playing this game on my own time, I've definitely got like more colors and more decals for my cars. So there we go. Purple fire stingray, let's see. Okay, yeah, I like that. I like that decal. So, yeah, I'll probably show you some more of that, like, later. Some more of the, uh, things I unlocked, because I just remembered I don't think I've really shown you all I've unlocked, because, like I said, I have played this game on my own time, when I sort of, um, doing, like, the games for October and, um, even November. Because it's a fun game, I, I just like playing it, it's cool. I almost forgot to tell you, something cool happened when I was playing this game. That I didn't even know happened till like well after. So um, like one, 
One channel I've been um, sort of watching, like um, in recent months, is um, the Vine Sauce, and I'm sure most of you probably know who they are. They're, I mean, they're like OG YouTubers. <laughs> I mean, not 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 necessarily YouTubers, even though they do have a presence on YouTube. They're like they're streamers, right? It's a collection of streamers, and uh, of course, um, the the big streamer, um, the one who sort of founded the channel, is Vinny. Um, of course, Vinny is an F Zero fan, or at least. He seems to be a fan of at least, like, F-Zero GX and this game, F-Zero 99. So, um, yeah, I was what I was watching a VOD from one of his streams, like, one morning during breakfast, like, sort of eating breakfast before work, um, sort of watching YouTube videos, watching, watching, uh, Vinny play F-Zero 99, and, uh, I noticed a very familiar name appear in one of his races when he was racing in one of the Grand Prix. It was my name. Because that was me, <laughs> participating in a Grand Prix at the same time Vinny was. And it was like, Jesus Christ, what are the fucking odds of that happening, right? This is like, you start out with 99 people in a fucking race. So, it's not like I had any idea that... Oh, I eliminated somebody somehow. Anyway, yeah, oh shit, I'm gonna fall behind! I was telling my Vinny story! Don't do this to me, game! Oh, fuck, okay, well, there we go. But yeah, it was like... I was just watching, watching this fucking uh, Vine Sauce VOD, watching Vinny play the game, and then like, about an hour and 21 minutes in, it was like, um, I, I forget the name of the video, I, I, I'll have to look again what it is, and I'll put it up on screen, but um, what is this guy doing, just bumping into the wall? <laughs> anyway, yeah, it's, it's just sort of weird just seeing myself just appear in like a famous streamer stream because I had no idea at the time. I was just playing Grand Prix mode. I wasn't trying to like stream snipe the guy or anything. I was just playing just to play and just seeing my name and the blue falcon I was using and the decal I was using and the boost. It's like, could it have been another person calling themselves JT Gunner? Probably. Could it be someone else named JT Gunner using the same car decal and boost I was using? Uh, not likely. <laughs> not likely, honestly. So, yeah, I mean, it was just like, this is like weird. It was surreal seeing that. It's neat, though. It's like, cool. I was on a stream with Vinny, unofficially, and I didn't even know at the time. But yeah. The only Vine Sauce streamers I really watch are like Vinny and Joel. Um, I've been watching more Joel recently because um, he's actually played like a lot of Mugen games. If you don't know what Mugen is, that is like a fighting game engine thing that you can sort of download and people just sort of like make make like fighting game characters. They'll either um, they'll either like rip sprites from fighting games and just sort of like make their own versions of like Ryu and Chun-Li from Street Fighter or like um, Terry Bogard from King of Fighters and just sort of make their own versions of those. Or they'll make, like, original characters, <laughs> like... Like, there's a whole bunch of weird original characters you can find, like... Fucking Homer Simpson, let's see, Popeye, um... And people's edgy OCs. Um, people made Vinny and Joel <laughs> in Mugen. So, yeah, um... I think I might play Mugen for the channel, just... But the thing is, like, Mugen isn't, like, a fighting game, it's an engine, so you sort of have to assemble things together. Like, you can download, like, packs that people have compiled, you know, because people just sort of, you know, make their own fighting game, like, uh... Oh, Jesus Christ, did I really... I wasn't paying attention, I'm sorry, I was just trying... Let's talk about Mugen, that's why. That's why I kind of fucked up there. Oh boy. I didn't defeat any of my rivals, so... <laughs> my, uh, my thing went down. Anyway. Not doing so hot with these, uh, classic races, at least these most recent two. The first one I did alright, but, uh, that's kind of shameful, isn't it? One more. We'll do one more. I don't know. I'm gonna at least survive this one. Try to survive this one. Try to, like, I like I'm doing a good job keeping up near, keeping up with the pack. It's just, I don't know, man. It, it, it's, it's tricky. Let's do Deathwind 1, guys. Let's do Deathwind. I like Deathwind. It's just noble. Ah, fuck you. <laughs> it's fine. I get it. Because Death... Nobody likes the, uh, nobody likes the Deathwind gimmick, which is Deathwind. I think Deathwind's literally the only track in this game with any sort of, like, extra gimmick of there being, um, like, actual, like, wind that sort of blows you from side to side. So, yeah. I mean, I, I think it's neat. <laughs> 
But I, I could also see why it never appeared in any other F-Zero game since. Because, well, it's tricky. Well, I think F-Zero Climax had, like, a, had like a Band Ocean track that had, like, wind mechanics, too. I could be mistaken. I don't know. It's been a hot minute since I played F-Zero Climax. So, I can't say for 100% certainty if it had this or not. Anyway, boost already. About to try to get ahead. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Did not mean to get on the dirt. Oh, fuck. I did not mean to hit the bumper. Oh, God. I'm in 18th place. Oh, God. I'm in 19th. Oh, God. Come on. Look, if I rank out this early, I'm just going to straight up, um... Okay, yeah. Fuck it, man. All right. I'm going to try another one. I swear to God. This is hard. This is harder than I thought it would be. Oh boy. Okay. That's why I wanted to do Deathwind. <laughs> so I can win. Yeah, that's... Dude, I was 20th place? Or was I 19th? Oh, classic mode's over. Okay, we'll just do... We'll just do a 99 race. Fuck it, man. <laughs> that's... That's bad. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to underperform. But, uh... Again, this is a Battle Royale game. I was hoping it wouldn't have rank out to the classic mode, but I forgot. Original F-Zero on SNES did have rank outs. It's just... You know, it's just not multiplayer, so... So it was, e like, you pretty much have to, like, go out of your way to sort of... Well, I won't say that. Actually, I, I, I take that back, because it can be hard to sort of place in a safe zone. You know, just, um... Because you have to make it above, like... I forget, I forget how it works. It's like, you have to make it above, um... At least in the last lap, you have to make it above... God damn it, guys. You guys are sick of Big Blue, aren't you? You're sick of Mute City 1 and Big Blue. Well, maybe not Mute City 1, but Big Blue is certainly sick of that. I'll, I just like, I love the, the BGM for Big Blue, and I love how it's like pretty much the only one of two tracks that retain their BGMs throughout, like, the F-Zero games, I think, for the most part. Like, GX actually gave new songs to, like, Big Blue and, um... Mute City, kind of. Mute City was more of a remix, but, um, Big Blue and GX was mostly, like, a, um, a, a new song, but it had unlockable remixes that are closer to the original arrangements of their, their original songs, so, yeah, <laughs> that's also a thing. So, technically, it's been in a, it's a song that's been in every F-Zero, so, yeah, there's a reason for that. It's fucking amazing. Dude, especially the Mario Kart 8 version of Big Blue, because Big Blue and Mute City are tracks in, in Mario Kart 8. It's, it is amazing, especially the saxophone solo. And, uh, yeah, they're pushing me around now. Look, the people in classic mode pushed me around. You guys don't need to do the same. Or maybe you do, I don't know. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I'm sort of gonna hang on to my Skyway till now. All right, there we go. You kind of have to be wise with your Skyway usage. That's how you- that's how you do good. Man, I kind of wish I was recording when I won my uh, first F-099 race. It was pretty sick. I do have screenshots, though. I'm pretty sure I've showed them off already, but if I have, but I'm just gonna do it again. So, future me when I edit the video, put the screenshot up right now. There you go. Thank you, future me. You're pretty cool. Sometimes. Except you're me, so you're also not that cool. Oh, fuck, I was trying to get that bumper. Okay. Whatever. I'll be fine. This is going to be my last race for the night, so... It's, I don't care that much. Well, actually, I do care. I, I want to I wanna at least perform well. Cut across here. There we go. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, boy, there we go. Ah, oh, man. I would get my like, Skyway, like... Skyway thing right as I cross the finish line. Two rifles, all right. One of these days, I'm gonna win. I'm gonna win a race. I'll be recording it, and you'll see it. But that day will not be today, unfortunately. At least I'm a top three A pilot. I guess that counts for something. You can't be too mad for not winning first place in an F-099 because it's just literally harder than any other racing game because it's very much a battle royale. Anyway. That was the classic mode races, um... I <laughs> only did well in one of them. Oh boy, even in this game, classic mode's hard, but... You know, F-Zero's always been a hard game, and... 
The Battle Royale spin just makes it harder, and it's also made it a lot of fun. Yeah, this, this game is really neat. I'll definitely play this game some more for the channel every now and then, just like I'm doing now. Um, of course, I'm still doing Zelda Tears of the Kingdom and Final Fantasy VII Remake for the channel. Dude, check those videos out if you haven't already. I'll get back to you, like... Resident Evil 4 Remake and um, Luigi's Mansion 3 in the future. Um, I don't know when this video is coming out, but the plan is to at least reintroduce Resident Evil 4 Remake in January and sort of put that in the rotation. We'll see, we'll see. I'm sort of, That's not set in stone, that's still up in the air. But anyway, I think you guys are done listening to me yap about channel stuff, so I'm gonna let you go. Thank you guys so much for watching. Feel do me a solid like, comment, subscribe, and click the bell, share the video around. Really would help me out a lot, and I do appreciate your support. But that's it. I am JT Gunner, and this is F099, and I will see you next time, so see you later.